there's a sandpiper bird. Hopefully that's a good sign for seashells. I don't think it is, but maybe it's a good luck charm. It's a good color one. It's broken though. I like these. Here's a school, cool scallop one, so it's broken now. There's another scallop. Oh, and another one. There's a bunch of these. Another one too. This one's broke, but this would make a cool necklace. People don't really uh, grab these, but they're pretty cool if you take a bunch and put them in a jar. They look really nice in the bathroom. Oh, here's a good one. Yes. Oh, I love these. Perfect. And it's perfectly intact. All right. This is a super find. These are great too. Ooh, look at the coloration on this inside. Just one of your just regular shells, still very neat. That's buried right here. Wow, looks like a sand dollar. Look, let's see. Wow, all right, a full sand dollar. Let's wash it off. Nice sand dollar. Pretty much already cured. A little vinegar, whiten it right up. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's just a piece of rock. Huh. There's a bunch of shells on it. There's some good coloration in the water. All right, this is a good one. It's kind of bleached out already, too. Oh, and this one, all right, yes. This is a great one, too. Let's see what's buried here. Nice, I love these. And this has some cool coloration to it. I don't know what this one is. All right, sweet. Look at that coloration and pattern. It's a good spot. Got a nice scallop here. Oh, that one's a little broken. All right, this looks like an interesting spot. Broken seashell or broken sand dollars. This used to be a big one. Wow. Let's keep going, see if we get any find any gems out here these are cool when they're when they're entirely intact bunch of a uh, bunch of these guys still got their kind of spines on them scallop Here's another sand dollar with some barnacles on it. Yeah, a lot of sand dollars. Just picked up this guy. He's cool. Right, I like these. Let's go. Just got this one. Smaller version of the other one. A little more gray. It's like a nice clam. Nice scallops. Check the water line now. That one's kind of broke. Yeah, like a mini one. This one, did someone paint this? It's crazy. When you clean these, they really come out nice. Pretty white. 
Pearl White. This is an oyster that's been sitting out in the sun for a while. It's got like a pink metallic to it. Look at that, huh? Wow, that's super cool. I'm gonna keep this. Let's get the sand off it. I bet it really will shine and wash it up. Oh, this is the one I wanted, almost. See how cool they are if they were like in full uh, full form. So pretty. School of bait fish right there. I like the water line a lot also because it washes everything off and it exposes a lot of uh, shells that may get buried or in the sand or get covered with sand. And sometimes you can just find some really cool stuff. But it also, there's a lot of broken shells down here because they're getting, you know, beat by the waves. Yeah, see how pretty is that one? Love these. I think there's another one right here. Yeah, look at the difference in color. Same species, but just different co in color. Here's a mussel. It's been bleached a little bit. We got some purple and pink. Pretty neat. Great color on this shell, but it's pretty destroyed. It's a cool shell. Been worn through a little bit. Let's wash it off. Barnacles on it. We'll, let, we'll keep this one here. So here's a patch of seaweed. Extends down the beach. And uh, some nice in-shaped um, clam of some sort, a big clam. I don't know what these are called, but they're really cool. Let's keep checking the seaweed line. Here's some seaweed. I think you can eat this, actually. I'll look it up when I get home. Some more, too. There's some green seaweed. I feel like you can eat this guy too. Some more here. He's a cool dragonfly. Just saved him. He was wet, he's still alive. Just needs to dry out a little bit. Take off a bit. And now back to the boat. Good day to see shower.